Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the angle between two lines. It's quite a short video, um, it's got quite a nice visual in it as well to hopefully make sense of how this is going to work. And I'm going to timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can just skip through to whichever part you want to see. And if it is useful, please do like and subscribe. Okay then, so let's first look at an example. So here we're asked to find the acute angle between the two lines. So here we've got a line R1 and a line R2. Now to really sort of demonstrate what's going on here, I'm going to put a visual on screen with these two lines uh, and hopefully it will help us to make sense of it. So you can see here I've actually plotted both of the lines in 3D space and hopefully you can see they don't intersect with each other. So you might be thinking how can we find the angle between the two? Well this doesn't actually really matter. So imagine I was to pick up both of these lines okay, and maintain their exact you know, direction, the same line, but just shift it so that they both pass through the origin. Okay, so I'm now going to move both of these lines. I'm just retyping in uh, the equations. So it's the same line, it just now passes through the origin. Now you can see once I've done this, they now intersect, and you can actually now see that there's going to be an angle made between the two, right? You can kind of see I'm orientating it. And so because of this, the only thing that really affects finding the angle is the direction vector. So we're only interested in the direction vector of our lines when we're calculating the angle between them. Hopefully you can see why that makes sense. So after seeing that, hopefully we're now happy that we're only really interested in the direction vector of these two lines. So for my line R1, I'm only really interested in this vector here. And for my line R2, I'm only interested in this vector here. So what we're gonna do first is take the dot product or the scalar product of these two vectors. So I'm gonna do negative two for negative one dot negative three four one and that's going to give me a result of six plus sixteen minus one uh, which is going to be twenty one now remember when we're finding the um, angle between two vectors we have that the angle between or cosine of the angle between the two is equal to a dot b or in this case our first direction vector dotted with our second one which was twenty one over the magnitude of our first vector in this case it will be the square root of negative 2 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 1 squared multiplied by uh, our second direction vector magnitude. So that's going to be negative 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 1 squared. And I'm just going to put that into my calculator now. And this is going to give me a result of 0 0.898. And whatever, I'm going to leave it exact in my calculator. I'm then going to calculate the inverse cos of both of these things and I get that the angle theta, so the angle between these two vectors, is 26 degrees. Okay. Now in the question we were asked to find the acute angle, so let me draw a quick uh, sketch of what this may look like, so these are our two lines. Now clearly we've found the acute angle straight away, but that we could have found this angle here in red. If that was the case then we would have just done 160 subtract whatever that angle was that we found and we would have found the acute angle. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So here we're asked to show that the two lines, L1 and L2, are perpendicular. So remember from the previous video, uh, two vectors are perpendicular if their dot product is equal to zero. And so again, we're only interested in the direction vectors, so this one here and this one here. So all we're going to have to do is take the dot product of these two vectors. If it is equal to zero, therefore the lines are perpendicular, as the direction vectors are perpendicular. So let's calculate this. So we've got 2, 1, 1, dot... 3, negative 10, 4, and this is going to give us 6 minus 10 plus 4, which does indeed equal 0. Therefore, these two lines are perpendicular. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where there are loads of other A-level math tutorials. Thanks for watching.